Of course, we have our tropical wave out here just east of the Philippines. It has been bringing some scattered showers all the way from Luzon down through Visayas and even into northern areas of Mindanao. And that area not labeled an invest uh, just yet, but I do think that the Joint Typhoon Warning Center probably going to label that in the near future. And some long range guidance even developing this and pulling it off towards the north. I'll get to that in a second. Right now, though, you just take a look at the JMA weather map. Uh, there's nothing there at this time. I and mean, we got a little bit of troughing in the subtropical ridge located right about there towards the south of the rainy season front but you know yeah jma is not really labeling it just yet it's very disorganized the key thing you want to take away is just look at all of that convection i mean uh, it is for sure flaring up uh, all thanks to the philippine seas very warm sea surface temperatures out here not to mention some of that moisture is pushing on shore so you're getting some relief from the heat across central Luzon down through southeastern areas of the country but a key thing right now it is rather disorganized but I know the rain has been coming down outside of rainfall reports uh, this photo sent in by John some pretty decent thunderstorms out there also an Iligan uh, from Jonathan yeah you got some heavy rainfall looks like a uh, water levels rain on that bridge are getting pretty high too so I, I actually have received a, a bunch of photos quite like this one um, of flooding or near flooding out there especially across southeastern Luzon and heading into Visayas so you know it, it is not a name storm system by any means right now but already starting to see some impacts here in the Philippines so let's talk about our forecast here's one thing I do want to know this is called ASCAD imagery satellite derived wind so the polar orbiting satellite you know it's going from north to south it's picking up kind of what the winds are at the surface and you can see right here this actually indicates some pretty good uh gust rate in here sustained winds about 20 to 30 knots only problem is look at this there's not a defined center of circulation at the very least we kind of have a little bit of a surface trough right through here and that is what i depicted on that satellite imagery as well if we start to see that wrap up that would change everything and definitely the models would be able to attach that to a, a defined low level circulation but right now you know we still got lots of questions because there's not a defined low level circulation but tropical wave in the philippine sea it, it does show possible development with the guidance not to mention possible impacts to japan if it does develop and here's a look at the gfs the american model oh yeah i don't like showing this blanket you know it, it, you're going to be watching this probably and you probably check other social media platforms and of course there's going to be those uh social media personalities that just post that last image there for okinawa and the southern japanese islands and you know puts up the big warning uh the key thing you want to take away from this it's one model but the gfs has been consistent on trying to develop something out here uh for okinawa or the southern japanese islands but here's the other thing, though. That's the GFS for next Wednesday, by the way, a week out, plenty of time. This is the ECMWF for that exact same time frame. Uh, keeps more of a monsoon low in the Philippine Sea. So, you know, if you go back and forth to that and then to this, yeah, there, there is a, a pretty uh, decent difference there between the two. The, I think the key thing you want to take away from this, though, is that moisture inflow coming in from the west uh, which for sure would increase uh, rainfall regardless of where this develops out here if it does impact our friends out here in the southern japanese islands or even over towards taiwan or you know southwestern japan regardless it still would be pulling in that moisture by the way the olympics start on july 23rd that right here this is showing july 20th now tokyo back towards the north but you know, long range guidance took a waiver a little bit. Uh, so we're for sure going to watch that for our friends, Okinawa and all of Japan. All right, here's that river. I've been talking about that atmospheric river. That could, uh, I think this is going to be the big topic for the Philippines. Yeah, it's more of a monsoonal low pulling back towards north, but it for sure is going to pull in moisture and increase showers on top of what you've already been seeing for Visayas, Southern Luzon, or even Northern Luzon. It really depends on where it sets up and how that moisture flow sets up. But an atmospheric river is what I would like to call it because that's really what it's going to be, more or less just pulling in that moisture from the west uh, and running across the Philippines heading into next week. But you know what? At least for now, it, it's all about watching. We're going to keep you guys posted because there's just a lot of questions here. Uh, 
But before the arrival of any possible tropical system, and I got this in English and Tagalog, so, you know, it, it, for my friends watching, maybe from uh, southwestern Japan in the military, you know, know your information from official sources. I'm not an official source. I never claim to be. Bagasa is in the Philippines, JMA in Japan, or if you're military, of course, you want to check in with JTWC or your local weather squadron. Prepare to evacuate if needed, of course, and check and prepare that emergency kits you know what one thing from all the time i lived in japan i always had actually a go bag uh in a closet not specifically for typhoons but of course for typhoons but for earthquakes and tsunamis too because you know this region of the world those can pop up out of nowhere and you're just caught off guard so having you know those emergency supplies on hand anyways i think it also we just have to remind ourselves that japan philippines taiwan uh, the Western Pacific, for that matter, uh, is earthquake prone. And a lot of those emergency supplies are the same. So having that stuff ready to go is always great. By the way, thank you very much, Mike, Lisa, Carrie, Mr. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> That's the name of an island out there in Micronesia. Lisa, Johnry, and Antonio, and everybody else. Thank you very much for helping me out on Patreon, especially the Super Typhoons. They donate $10 a month. I mean, you guys are legends, and I can't thank you enough truly truly can't thank you enough if you guys want to help out tropical depression is just two dollars a month i actually just posted a video yesterday talking about behind the scenes stuff and i got a new interview coming out you guys are gonna have a first look at it on patreon before i release it on this youtube channel so yeah you know if you guys want to donate there even just two dollars a month gives you some extra perks uh, behind the scenes. By the way, ooh, I'm standing in front of it. If you look out the window today, that is a view from Negros. So if you guys ever want to share some uh, photos with me, you can get it in the virtual set here. Go ahead and check out my Facebook, Robert Spetta Weather. Thank you very much, John, for sending, Daniel John, I guess, uh, for sending that in. Absolutely beautiful shot. Nice cumulimbus cloud there. I thought that combined with the sunset was a perfect, uh, uh, set piece for today. Hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Patreon. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's for sure. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and sometimes I post on TikTok as well. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. I'll keep you guys posted on any new developing systems.